Alright, well I have here a uh, 12 by 16 hardwood panel board uh, that I started uh, this particular painting on. And, well, I don't really like how it's going, so what I'm going to do is uh, gesso back over it uh, with uh, white gesso and uh, perhaps some uh, white paint. Um, and as I said, this is a hardboard panel board, and I take them, and as you can see on the back of it, and what I'll do sometimes is also uh, take like a black gesso and do the uh, the back, but I make these out of a big uh, 4 by 8 uh, board. Uh, I have over here some uh, gesso. This is a Liquitex Professional Gesso, which I which I do really, really, really like. Um, got a little bit of a, a brush, and I pick up this cheap little roller, which I which I like uh, the way it ends up uh, finishing it on the um, the painting. Um, a little bit of water in the big jar here. My <laughs> uh, favorite uh, salsa stuff filled with water. So I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, ready, and I'm going to start to. Uh, apply some uh, uh, gesso on there. Alright, so I just spread across a little bit of uh, gesso on this. Unfortunately, I'm just doing this with uh, well, one hand. I didn't set up a tripod or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, take my brush. I'm going to switch this over to my uh, left hand because I predominantly paint with the, white, uh, the right hand. And we're just going to spread this about, covering it, and just going over, trying to make sure we get all the sides. And, and what I really like on the, this uh, um, professional level is it, it really spreads uh, pretty easy. And you can pretty much usually get one, one coat will do. But, you know, if you want to make another one, but this was already uh, gessoed beforehand and I did the uh, little bit of a painting that I wasn't happy about. You don't have to worry uh, too much about uh, your brush strokes or whatnot. You just want to get it covered and as you can see it's it's covering it uh, quite well. And, and we get there and we get, get it a little bit tacky and just kind of go over go over it and you can get some of your excess paint and uh, what I found is that this uh, little uh, cheapy uh, sponge type one if you're worrying about brush strokes and all you know back in here now we're going to go ahead and take the little uh, roller and just go around and just kind of smooth everything out and you can still see some of the uh, colors underneath there but it really did a nice job and that's just you know one layer we can always go um, either paint it with uh, white paint over it cover it or um, just go ahead and do another layer of uh, Gesso. So I'm going to sit there and let that uh, dry for a while, but as you can see, it's uh, covered pretty well. Uh, I do like the uh, fact of how smooth the little roller uh, gets things. Um, so you really want, you could, well, let me pause this for a second. I'm going to put a little bit more and we'll see what happens. 